Hello and welcome to this video in which I will discuss three free software programs for running path analysis, confirmatory factor analysis and structural equation modeling. My name is Christian Geiser, I'm an instructor with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials. I usually talk about multivariate statistical methods including factor analysis, structural equation modeling, multi-level analysis and latent class modeling. If this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, including workshops that I offer through Quantfish. In this video, I want to talk about three software programs that you can download for free from the internet and that allow you to run path analysis, structural equation modeling, factor analytic models, including growth models and other multivariate statistical models related to structural equation modeling. And so I want to begin with one program that is currently very frequently used and that is the Lavan package of the free R software. So R is a larger statistical software environment that allows you to do all kinds of different statistical analyses and Lavan is one package that you can download and install as part of that R environment. You can see here on my screen, I have the website open from uh, the, for the Lavan software and you can see this is the uh, landing page here and you can on that uh, website find a link to a page that is called getting started. And so this walks you through all the basic steps of installing R, installing Lavan and then um, checking whether the installation was successful. And then also, once you have that in place, you can uh, go to a tutorial. So there's an online tutorial here that allows you to, uh, for example, figure out how you can run a confirmatory factor analysis, a structural equation model, growth model, how you can use categorical data, and so on even multi-level SEM is also implemented in Lavan. A lot of the Lavan functions are very similar to M plus, which is a commercial program. M plus has a bunch more features than Lavan, including mixture modeling. And um, M plus is a standalone package for structural equation models and latent variable models more broadly, but a lot of the features, the more basic features that M plus has, you can mimic with Lavan and you can run models that are the same as in M plus with a similar syntax and pretty straightforward syntax. And also the output in Lavan looks pretty similar to what you would get in M plus. There's even a function called M plus to Lavan that you can use in R to translate M plus syntax to Lavan in case you want to switch from M plus to Lavan. And I have a separate video on this channel where I discuss this function M plus to like the number two Lavan and show how you can easily transfer from M plus to Lavan. I also have a free workshop available that you can find the link for in the description here in the show notes for this video where I uh, provide an introduction to the Lavan program using RStudio, which is a, a very convenient interface for the R program. And so there I also walk you, I can walk people through the installation of Lavan and then the use of Lavan for simple models. So you can check that out as well. Next, I wanna talk about a related program that is JASP. JASP is also a free software and it's actually really user friendly and really beginner friendly, more so than R. R is syntax based and it's a little bit cryptical, even with the R Studio interface, it's somewhat complicated to use and you have to use syntax when you use the Lavan package in the R environment even with our studio, but JASP offers a point and click interface for Lavan. So in JASP, you can use simple or relatively simple models uh, or specify relatively simple models of path analysis, mediation analysis, exploratory factor analysis, confirmatory factor analysis, and structural equation modeling that uses Lavan syntax in the background. So basically JASP uh, is an interface for Lavan that allows you to do a lot through point and click. 
And then the Lavan syntax is run in the background. You can print the syntax if you want to learn Lavan, but you don't have to write code in JASP. And that's really nice and convenient. Also, JASP offers a lot of other statistical methods and graphical methods as well. So for example, regression correlation analysis, analysis of variance, t-test and so on. So you have a lot of stuff there, power analysis for simple models also. I have a whole playlist on JASP on this channel and I have specific videos where I show how to do CFA, mediation, growth models, SEM with JASP. So check those out also here on this Quantfish channel. Um, JASP, what else can I say about JASP? JASP is also nice because it allows you to just simply import SPSS data. So it's very easy to open a data file, import a data file from SPSS, and then you can run your factor analysis or SEM. And as long as those models are pretty standard, it'll do it for you through point and click. To my knowledge, it's the only free problem, uh, program, excuse me, to date that allows you to run factor models, structural equation models, and mediation analysis through point and click in a very convenient way where you just simply dra drop and drag and drop your variables in different fields and then you can get your model specified. It's very self-explanatory, very easy to use. Check out my videos on JASP and you'll see that you'll find that it's really user-friendly. Next, I wanna talk about a program that's called OpenMX. OpenMX is also a package that is available in R for free, so it can be used within the R um, environment. OpenMX is a little bit less commonly used than Lavan. Lavan is a little bit more straightforward. It's a little bit easier maybe, a little bit more like M plus and has very easy syntax. OpenMX has two different ways of specifying a model. You can specify a model through a path diagram which is nice and it creates very good looking path diagrams that are look like they're publication ready. So this is nice. They show an example here on their website, openmx.ssri.psu.edu. And you can see here's the code that allows you to generate that model that is shown on the left hand side, this one factor confirmatory factor analysis model. MX also or alternatively has a matrix specification if you prefer that. So that's something like what used to be commonly used in programs like Lisrel, so a very old program for structural equation modeling and factor analysis. Lisrel, you'd use this matrix specification and so this can be used also here in MX. So that's also a free software option. Now, what would I recommend? I must uh, admit that I have no experience with OpenMX, but I do have some experience with Lavan. I think Lavan is a great program. It is similar to M+. Maybe the syntax is somewhat more cryptical to the M+, syntax. I have a separate video where I talk about the pros and cons of Lavan versus M+. Plus that you can check out. But Lavan is a good option, I think. And then when you're really a beginner with structural equation models and factor analysis or path analysis, then JASP. JASP is great because JASP is point and click. It's super easy. It shows you everything. It even it generates a path diagram for you. And so to learn SEM and to learn factor analysis and mediation, JASP is a really nice program. It's limited with regard to the flexibility of the model. So if you have a really complicated model then JASP may not be able or may not allow you to do this easily or you may have to use Lavan syntax which you can also use in JASP. So that's um, a little bit of a downside of JASP but I think as a beginner program it's um, very very useful and please check out my other videos where I show this for different methods including path analysis, mediation, factor analysis and SEM. Also, don't forget to check out the description here to this video where I offer a bunch of free workshops, on-demand workshops on some of these programs. I also offer longer workshops on M+, and we offer uh, with Quantfish workshops on various techniques in Lavan that you can also find in the description. I hope you found this video useful to learn about three free SEM software packages. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, and I'll see you next time.